to worry, girls. In the fashion industry, there is no room for compromise, and I happen to be an excellent negotiator. Good evening, Mr. Cranky Doodle. Uh, hello, Rarity. I am here representing the Cutie Mark Crusaders. I understand you are denying them the use of a projector. Yes, my projector. Uh, let the record show that Mr. Cranky Doodle has identified the projector in question. So, if I am understanding you correctly, this is your projector. Yes. And you take it home with you when the school day ends. Well, no, I can't do that. Mm, that's right. You can't do that, can you? In fact, this projector cannot leave the school premises because it isn't your projector at all. It is the property of Canterlot High School, a public school funded by hard-working taxpayers such as Applejack and myself. So technically, is this not the taxpayer's projector? My projector, Applejack's projector! Therefore, did you not lie under oath when you identified it as your own? I didn't take an oath. You're out of order! This whole projector situation is out of order! I'm confiscating it as evidence. Wait! It's expensive, and it could be damaged if not cared for properly. Also, I pay taxes, too. You're saying you'd feel more comfortable if someone were there to supervise it? We <laughs> <laughs> did it! Oh, delighted we could reach a settlement. In exchange for the projector, he could attend the party to supervise said projector.